let's have some tea. Well, hi there, friends. Welcome back, it's Mike again. I'm here for a little bit of a cuppa and a catch up. But really, this is my November favorites video. Um, let's, just, let's just dive right in, November. Can you believe it's December tomorrow? I'm, uh, how did that happen? I don't know about you guys, but today in Wales, it went absolutely freezing. Like, like, I, I have been freezing cold all day, freezing cold. So now the heating's on full and I'm in the bedroom and I'm thoroughly enjoying being warm just for five minutes with my big cup of tea. So this is my November favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video before, so let's, this is gonna be a first. And I've sort of made some um, kind of categories that I'm gonna do a favorites of each month. So let's talk about November. Let's start with favorite book for November. I'm gonna put my tea down now. I'm gonna have a little slurp, put it down because I don't wanna spill it. Oh, tea, tea. Glen Getty, obviously because nothing else will do. Okay, so, favorite book of November. It really, really did have to be a really, really easy choice. Book of Dust, Philip Pullman. I have a video coming soon of my review of this book, and it'll be in my November wrap-up as well, but this book, hands down, was my favorite this month. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you've read it, I'm, I hope you did too. Or tell me, what did you think of it? In the comments, please. Um, I sort of went through it quickly, but also was trying to savour it. I didn't want to re just like binge read it in a, like a, a night. I wanted to thoroughly enjoy it. And it took me probably about a week. And that was me kind of um, ration reading. And um, it's, it's a really, really good book. It's a lovely, lovely book. It's about a little boy called Malcolm. He works in a pub with his family, that his family owns, and he gets kind of pulled into this big massive adventure and it is really a big massive adventure. I can't wait for the next one. So that's my favorite book of November, hands down. Oh, I have to have some tea, I'm losing my voice. It has been a long day today. Work this week has been challenging. Just because it's busy, it's Christmas, you know? It really is Christmas now, I'm willing to go with it. Okay. Favourite film of the month, which I do not have any sort of prop for. So I um, I do the Limitless at the Odeon and I go to the cinema quite a lot. I love the cinema, I love films. And I've been to see a couple of films this month. Um, so I think when I talk about favourite film of the month, I'm probably going to be talking about Odeon films rather than films that I've just watched at home or on Netflix. Um, so I've been to see a couple. I went to see Justice League. Uh, I thought it was okay. Uh, not my favorite. My favorite. Do you know? I'm gonna say a bad mom's Christmas. You know, it was just it was just silly, festive, fun, and funny story. Me and my friend Becca were going were going to see it after work, and we were a little bit late. Actually, everything was against us that night. Everything parking. Um, the queue in Costa, which was huge. The mint hot chocolates, which weren't mint, they were just hot chocolates. Lovely, but when you ask for mint and pay for mint, you expect it to be mint. Am I wrong? Uh, but nice. Uh, we were right at the front, in the front row of the little, little cinema, and um, we went in, and the cinema, the film had already started. It had only been on for about five or ten minutes, so it was fine. We got the gist, the, the moms, moms arrived, and... Um, but it's actually really funny. The cinema was roaring and it was quite full. And uh, I, for the first five minutes, I was a bit like, oh no, we've missed the beginning. Have we missed, like, you know, the... It, did we just miss the the pull, the kind of explanation? Not that you really need when it's a silly Christmas film, but, you know, if it, it was a bit silly. Everything on the screen was a bit silly and we didn't have a lead in. We just jumped straight into the silly. Um, but after those five minutes were up, I was like, yeah, this is actually really funny. I really, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, favorite film of the month, Bad Moms Christmas. Favorite music of the month. Oh, this is a no brainer, guys. I need you to go and listen to this album. Um, I have it, but it's in my car and it's so cold, I'm not going to get it. So here's a screenshot. I don't know if you can see this. Ooh, this album is by Narina Palo and it's called Stay Lucky, I think. Is it called Stay Lucky? because there's no name on the front of the album, so bear with, I'm just gonna double, double check that. Peace be it. Stay lucky, Narina Palo, there we go. Thank you, Amazon. 
Um, such a good CD, such a good CD. Quite different to her um, other stuff. Um, well, not quite different. It's just, it's, it's, it's sort of like this album has a style of its own. And I would call it a bit more jazzy. Uh, jazzy kind of kind of slow and chilled and there's a, there's a bit of a 70s vibe there is a, a song on there um, called what is it called man didn't walk on the moon is that what it's called this is the thing about music these days do you find because you have them on your phone you just kind of press I have them on Spotify and they just st I stream them and, I, and then this I don't look at the out the CD very much, but this one I bought the CD as well as having it on Spotify because I, I just I love her and it's yeah man didn't walk on the moon that you, you never know the, the track title you don't always know them anyway um, man didn't walk on the moon and it sounds really like kind of Fleetwood Mackey um, yeah such a good CD really 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 good please go and listen to it and, and I love it because she's done it on her own record label and she's just making these making this music and and, and selling it and it's She's she should be so much more famous than she is, and we love her. Nina Paolo, stay lucky, definitely favorite music of the month. What else? Favorite candle. Now this was a little bit of a tricky one because I've been burning um, autumn nights, Yankee candle, autumn nights, a lot this month because it's in um, my jar. I've got a big um, kind of a hurricane vase that that the candle sits in, and it makes it's meant to make the smell spread more which it does actually and um so that's been burning a lot this month and that has been a really lovely one and i did just finish my vanilla lime which is my ultimate favorite candle but it was halloween it's witch's brew this candle is phenomenal i love witch's brew it's your turn sniff it sniff it um, really nice, spicy, woody, very autumnal, and I always, I have to have a supply of this in my house at all times. So much so, actually, that I went to um, MacArthur Glen in Bridgend uh, on my holidays, that was when I was off, and they had it um, half price, so I stocked up, I think I bought two, to see me through the year, because it's really weird. You'd think that a Halloween candle would be full price at Halloween, and then throughout the year when it's not Halloween, that it would be cheap. No, 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 this is the other way around. It's cheap on Halloween, and then throughout the year, it goes very, very expensive. But, so this is my candle of the month, which is brew, and they don't make this version anymore, but it is rather delicious, isn't it? Delightful, spiders, webs, spooky. Okay, what's next? Favorite treats. Okay, so, I bought these again in MacArthur Glen, but then I thought, oh, they're a MacArthur Glen exclusive, have to get them. Conned, because they sell them in Tesco, but it was the same price, so it's not so bad. But, Lint, Lindor, mint chocolate balls. They are delightful. I am a mint chocolate kind of guy. I love mint chocolate. And those who don't, I don't really understand you. I don't, I'm sorry, I just don't get it. Mint and chocolate go together like mint and chocolate. Phenomenal, these are really nice. It is milk chocolate and I do like mint and dark, but this is mint and milk. And yeah, so I bought this in Tesco post Bridgend and this is under the stairs in my secret Christmas confectionery area, which has only this in it so far, but there will be more. I haven't done that shop yet, bear with. I'm a busy guy. Then, what is next? Okay, so this one, um, I'm gonna go, yeah, this is kind of favorite. I'm gonna merge two of my little titles here. I've got a favorite purchase title, and I've got a favorite Funko Pop title, and they kind of have merged this month because I bought this, I chose this next, this next one, okay? But um, I chose it and it, I ordered it for my birthday off Jay. So I didn't buy it, but I did buy it, if that makes sense. Um, and it's, um, it's, oh, I'm just gonna bring it on out. Favorite Funko Pop. This is phenomenal. It's Buffy and Faith from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and they're in season three outfits and I adore Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I really do. And ever since I got these, I've been feeling that a rewatch might actually be on the cards. I've been watching on YouTube um, 
different people's like top 10 lists and things, you know, uh, top 10 scenes, top 10 deaths, that kind of stuff. And they're really good, but these are really cool. And I, I do open my Funko Pops, but I haven't opened these yet. Um, I've never bought a double pack before, so that's quite exciting. And I don't have any more of the Buffy ones. I'm not sure whether I ever will, to be honest. I tell a lie, I have Buffy. I have the first Buffy, that one. Um, and she's guarding my DVDs, but I don't know whether I'm gonna open these. I kind of, kind of, kind of really, really want to, and also kind of maybe, don't because I just think they're just so it's so special and lovely look at the box it's so special and lovely but I love it because these two characters I mean what would TV be without Buffy am I right I'm right um, she's wearing her red leather pants from when she beat the crap out of Faith in season three and Faith is in her outfit that I think that she wears at the beginning it's the gold trousers so favorite Funko Pops this this month 100% had to be Buffy and Faith had to be Buffy and Faith. Very excited as well for the next wave of Buffy Funko Pops. I may indulge in some of those. Of course I'm gonna indulge in some of those. Anyway, um, okay, so favorite TV shows watched this month. Now, I love a binge watch on Netflix like most people, j'adore, and um, this month was no exception. Um, I did consider for this, oh, see, I love TV shows. This is really, really hard. I really, 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 love TV shows. I love watching um, thrillers like on BBC and ITV and Channel 4 dramas and documentaries and I just I love telly. I watch a lot of telly but obviously the one that stands out. No, oh, no I don't know. Okay let's just put all the cards on the table. The Punisher was awesome. If you haven't watched that yet it was good. It was awesome in the end though. I found that the first maybe six episodes I feel like they were just long and not a lot happened and when the story did kick in eventually I thought oh this is really really good and I love this and I thoroughly enjoyed myself very very violent some of the most violent things I've ever seen on TV gross um, but I still did enjoy it but I don't think it's gonna no no I'm gonna go with my first choice my favorite for this month was certainly Stranger Things 2 I love Stranger Things, loved season one, and I've only seen it once, and actually I thought that I might have watched the second season before, no, the first season again before I watched the second season, but I didn't, and, but now I'm going to go back and watch the first season again, but um, in honour of my love of season two of Stranger Things, I, I indulged in a hopper. <laughs> His name is Hopper, he's the, he's the um, sheriff, oh my phone's going mad, uh, in, in, oh my god, what's the town called? He's the sheriff in Stranger Things, and Stranger Things too, and he is a delicious man. Um, and so I had to buy him, he's got a donut and a little cup of coffee. Here, this is it, this is a Funko Pop after my own heart, except for the hat. I would have liked to have got the one without the hat, but it turns out he is extremely expensive and more difficult to find. So, we've got a hopper, I love Stranger Things too. Um, I didn't mind episode seven, you know, the one that's dividing opinion. I understood why it was there and I in some way it had to be done and it, it did, did make sense. But um, also when you re-watch it though, when I re-watch it, I don't know whether I will need, you don't need to watch season seven to, to watch the whole series, if you know what I mean. Episode seven, sorry, you don't need to watch episode seven. But I probably will, because it's only been one episode, isn't it? God, let's have some tea, I'm talking fast tonight. I'm trying to get through this quick. It is a school night. Not in school, it's work, it's work night. I'm gonna throw this in there. Favorite mug. We bought this, these from Hey On Why. I bought two of them, Jay and I, and we have one each. It's a lovely sort of charcoal color um, at the top. Uh, it's like a matte finish, and then it goes down and becomes a uh, silk sort of cream stone color. And then a really nice sort of stony bit at the bottom. Really, really nice mugs, and I, they're, they're not. Um, they're they're quite irregular, and I, and I and I like that. So this is my favourite mug. I just this is an ad hoc favourite for the month. You lucky devils. Um, so yeah, that's my favourite. Those are my favourites from November. There's one last question which I'm going to do at the end of every one of these videos. I'm going to try to do one a month. BT dubs. Um, 
what I'm most looking forward to next month. Now, obviously next month is December and it's Christmas and I love Christmas. I do, and I've sort of started slowly going. I mean, when you work in retail, you're kind of surrounded by Christmas a little bit earlier than most, but um, luckily in um, our shop, we're not, strangely, we're not surrounded by Christmas an awful lot. So um, I'm looking forward. Tomorrow is the 1st of December, so the Christmas music starts tomorrow, which is actually quite exciting in work, because I am looking forward to that. Um, but um, I've just purchased something today, which may be my December favorite music. I don't know yet, probably. Little sneak peek, okay, because it's just come on Spotify, so I've just listened to the first few tracks. It's Kate Rusby's latest Christmas album, uh, Angels and Men, Men and Angels, can't remember, it's brand new. Um, love her, love a bit of folk, and um, so I'm going to be listening to that in a bit, and I've just ordered it on Amazon, so I heard the first three tracks, and I was like, yeah, having this, got to have this in the car, I need it in the car to drive back and forth to work for Christmas. So that's, that's happened. Um, but yeah, so I'm, also, I'm very much looking forward to Christmas, I do love Christmas. Um, I've done, I've done nearly all my Christmas shopping, had to make a list, but almost there, a couple of bits left to get. Have started wrapping ever so slightly, I do you know what, I don't enjoy wrapping presents, it's not my favourite thing to do in the world. Um, not doing ribbons, not doing bows, and you know what, not doing cards this year, I'm just doing some presents for some people and yeah, so that's that. But I am looking forward to Christmas, I'm so looking forward to Christmas, actually I did buy something. Um, Every year at Christmas, I like to indulge in a Jamie Oliver magazine. So I bought this one. So this is the November issue. And I do, last year, I remember, remember that I've remembered about the tradition of buying the magazine in December. So I managed to get hold of the December magazine, which is, which is very Christmassy. But some of the stuff that I wanted to see was in the November one. But this year, I remembered early, so I've got the November issue here. It will be getting December when it's out as well. Um, I do enjoy a Jamie Oliver Christmas magazine. I've got them from quite a few years back now. I've still got them. And I do like a little flip through. I feel like it's something, it's kind of like a little bit of a long time before Christmas when I can just have a cup of tea and even put some music on, maybe a little bit of Kate Rusby, and I can just flick through and see what he's doing this year, what he, what is in here. Um, haven't even opened it yet. I'm saving this for my day off this week, so I'm uh, looking forward to Sunday. A little bit of Jamie Oliver, a bit of festivities, get me in the mood. So I'm obviously looking forward to Chris Christmas, but I am looking forward to something very, very much. Very, very much that's not Christmas, but it is Christmas. I can't wait for the Doctor Who Christmas special this year. I am so excited. Every trailer I've seen, every image, gif, everything that I've seen that they're posting has literally just got me so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I have thoroughly enjoyed Peter Capaldi in the last season. I really, really did. And David Bradley's casting as the first Doctor, again, because he played William Hart not before, is just genius. Such a clever thing. I love Bill. Bill Potts is probably one of my favourite companions. No, it is definitely one of my favourite companions. I'm not sure whether she's my actual favourite. That's a whole other video. But um, I can't wait. I can't wait for it. And of course, Jodie Whittaker's debut, which is just really exciting. She's a really good actress. I cannot wait. I'm just very excited for that. I can't. I can't. I'm very excited for this. <gasps> it's been a while since Doctor Who. Lush. Um, yeah, so those are my November favourites, guys. I hope you like this video, and I hope you'd like to see more of this kind of thing. Um, and I will make more. I'm going to do one a month. Very, very exciting. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do them. Today, tonight presented itself quite well, because there's nothing on telly that I wanted to watch tonight, quite frankly. And I've had food. We've done the dishes. So it's happy days. I hope everyone has enjoyed their November, and that they're looking forward to December. And Advent calendars tomorrow! just remembered. Yes, I did buy an advent calendar for Jane I this year. Um, we've gone for a kinder one. I know, a bit different, but that's okay. I love a bit of kinder chocolate. Thanks guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, speak to you soon. Bye! I don't know why I pouted at the end there. Why, what was that about? I don't pout in life. Bye! No. No.